Well, in today's world, your digits are part of your identity. Your phone keeps you connected, and smartphones make it easy. Yeah, but technology is also making things easier for scammers. Since 2013, phone fraud is up 30%. KRDO News Channel 13's Emily Allen joins us now with a Target 13 alert to keep you safe. James and Heather, scammers are always trying to stay ahead of the curve. And with new technology, scammers can actually use your phone number to scam others and you might not even know. It's your lifeline. But it nearly ruined this woman's life. They threatened me. They wanted to come and knock my teeth in. Margaret Tranker got spoofed. What in the hell is that? Scammers hijacked her number and it showed up on scam victims' caller IDs. And angry people called back. They said, We will come, you know, if you don't stop this, we will come and take care of you, you know. Well, what did that mean? Take care of you. Um, it's. It was very scary. And she's not alone. Pindrop Security, a company specializing in call center protection, reports almost 90 million calls in the U.S. every month are from scammers. When it comes to spoofing, they're not just targeting you and me. They're also targeting financial institutions like banks. We really have to have safeguards in place to make sure we verify who we're talking to. Mountain View Bank President Bob Lucia says this institution hasn't been a victim, but his guard is always up. You balance that fine line of protecting our clients, but also giving them that great service. Mm -hmm. And so that can, that can be a challenge. Banks that fall prey can expose as much as $15 million to fraud. He says bankers keep each other in the loop about new scams. You know, over the years, they're, they're somewhat, they're different. Maybe they're more high tech now, but they're very similar. I mean, I think the end result is, is to just uh, defraud you of, of money. Colorado Springs Detective Jennifer Pitt says these criminals are tough to track, especially if they're using spoofing technology. Sometimes we're successful and sometimes we're not. Um, it is a very long process. We have to get several warrants, several court orders. Um, and basically do uh, tracking on the phones in order to, to get that information. It is very difficult to find. Hello? As for Margaret Trinker, she keeps her number as private as possible. That was like the most scariest thing I ever had in my entire life. And still worries about who's on the other end. That's always on my mind. Don't let your dial tone become a crook's tool. The biggest thing that police stress is that banks and the IRS won't ask for your personal information like a social security number over the phone. Now head over to Cardio.com. That's where we've posted more tips on how to protect your money and as well so you don't become a victim of scams. In the Newsplex, Emily Allen, Cardio, News Channel 13. Good information.